If you were in need of motivation, you have come to the right place. Look at the absolute state of her. Am I frustrated with myself for letting this go on for so long? Yes. I just like, where do I even start? I know exactly where I should start. I should start by cleaning my room. Seems pretty foolproof to me. I'm excited. This is going to be so satisfying, so motivating. Get ready. Did I just move everything in my room to this corner to take the thumbnail? Yes, I did. That's what I call commitment. Mm. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. My name's Susie. It's nice to meet ya. In this video, I'm going to be doing a declutter of my entire life. But starting with my bedroom, I have been trying to clean this room for days now and it's just not working. So I feel like I need some accountability in the form of you guys to help give me some company along this process. It's not good for my mental health. And I know that there's a lot of you who are probably in the same boat right now. You're lying in your messy room, scrolling on TikTok, watching YouTube videos, and Lord knows we are both going to feel so good after we deep clean and declutter. It's time to get started. I'm excited. This is going to be good. I don't know why I'm still here. I'm just stalling at this point. Let's get into it. Before we get started though, let's do a before of my room. Okay, so this is what it looks like when you walk in my room right now. That's a pair of dirty grey yeah. undies. We don't talk about that. My bed is actually pretty clear. That's because I need to sleep in there. <laughs> so I've just shoved everything on the floor. Actually, these drawers aren't too bad, but that's mainly because I have not put all of my clothes away. This isn't the only room. I also have to clean my filming room and I need to clean my car. I've had people tell me how nasty my car is. Nice people. I just like, where do I even start? I know exactly where I should start. I should start by cleaning my room. I think I'm gonna start by getting all of the stuff on the floor and putting it on my bed because then I can't go to sleep. Seems pretty foolproof to me. <sighs> Let's go. Oh, you're still here? Yeah, I was just getting started. My money don't jiggle jiggle, it falls. So I just started by chucking all of my dirty stuff on the floor on the bed so I couldn't get back in it. And then I folded and put away all my clothes because that was the main bulk of everything. Whilst also putting some in bags to donate. And I'm just gonna take a second to talk about the sponsor of today's video, which is Casetify. They sent me some new cases, so we're gonna unbox it. First off, their packaging is so nice. Look at this. These are the new cases that I got. So this is the first one I got and it says Susie. This is the customizable impact case. I love Casetify because they have so many different designs. You can always find something that suits your style. They also have customization options so you can put your name on it if you want so you don't lose your phone and it's also just made for you and really cute. And most importantly, they are so protective. If you're someone like me who always drops your phone, they have drop protection up to 9.8 feet, which I've never dropped my phone from that high but if you do you don't have to worry about your screen shattering and yes they are eco-friendly their new impact and ultra impact cases are made of 65 percent plant-based and recycled materials and their crush cases like this one are partially made from upcycled phone cases they also have a range which is fully compostable like this one that i have here and all of the cases have something called defensify which is an antimicrobial coating that kills 99 percent of bacteria. They're also made of non-toxic and non-hazardous materials. And I'm not going to just tell you that this is protective. Let's test it out. This is hardwood floor. That was a loud sound. <laughs> Scary. Perfectly fine. Casetify is an amazing company. I literally recommend them to all of my friends when they're asking where to get a phone case from. And if you want to get 15% off, they gave us a cheeky discount. So you can go to www.casetify.com slash Todd and you will automatically get 15% off your order. 
I will also have that code in the description box so you can just click on it. Thanks again to Casetify for sponsoring this portion of the video and let's get back into cleaning. Good morning guys. I just got back from the gym if you can't tell by the fit. I basically had a little bit of a breakdown last night because it was just all too overwhelming. And I ended up going to Murray's so I could go to sleep because obviously my bed is covered with stuff. I'm just literally on the verge of like a mental breakdown. Cut the cameras. What I realized yesterday, I just have too much stuff and not enough storage. Closet really needs some like storage boxes. I think I said I was gonna get them ages ago and I just never ended up making the trip to Ikea because not gonna lie, I hate Ikea. Something about it, the LED lights, the smell, the sounds overstimulates all of my senses and I feel like a crazy person in there. I hate it. I hate Ikea. And also the fact that you get trapped in there like a maze. <sighs> Why am I so intimidated right now? I don't want to go in. Oh God. They're sandwich bags with flowers on them. Oh my God. It's a salad spinner. That color is iconic. I love this. How much is it? The green bathtub. Iconic. Okay, I'm already getting distracted. Oh my God, I made it to storage. Okay. If my closet looks like this, my life would be so much easier. This is the one I want. To say that was traumatic. Oh my God, you guys are dirty. To say that was traumatic would be an understatement. You should have seen the upper sweat lip up a sweat lip that's how much my brain is working right now it's like a reward this one's gonna be oversized t-shirts Do the KonMari method. And you can see the print on the t-shirt. Thank you TikTok for the organization hacks. Hi guys, it's day 127 of me cleaning my room. I've got all of this stuff from Ikea for organization. What's going on? Oh, there's a baby at my door. So I actually gave birth the other day. Didn't realize that I was pregnant, but now I have this to deal with. Hello. Hello. <laughs> she just wants to steal the show. She wants this to be her YouTube channel. You will not take my subscribers. <laughs> That's my niece. As I was saying, my room is pretty much like surface clean at the moment, but I haven't done any decluttering or organizing. So I bought all of these boxes from Ikea. I measured them and they should fit on the shelves. So then I can fold everything like Marie Kondo. I feel like that's gonna be a better storage solution. Back to what I was doing before, which is these boxes under my bed. But yeah, I'm just gonna keep on doing this. How satisfying is this folding technique though? I will now be folding all of my t-shirts like this forever. Boom, 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 boom. boom, boom, boom. I want to and then tuck it in. Hey, that worked. That worked really well, actually. Okay, pajamas are done. It feels amazing. And under my bed it goes. It is, again, another day. <laughs> It's the next day, last night, I decided I was tired and I went to sleep. I feel like most of this video is literally just me procrastinating this room. I'm going to Noosa tomorrow, so I need to get this done or else it's gonna stress me out the whole entire trip knowing I'm coming back to this half done. 
So I'm just gonna get right into it. Okay, this is what we have for the time being. I'm now realizing I'm not gonna be able to fit all the stuff I had on that shelf before if I do it like this. I really thought this was like gonna be game changing. No. It's literally like 7 p.m. I think I'm gonna have to just like give up on the declutter until I come back from Noosa. And I hate to admit defeat like that, but sometimes you just have to, you know? I gotta put me first. I gotta put me first. I gotta put me first. Let's finish off this room when I get back from my holiday. Okay, bye guys. Hello guys, I am back from Noosa now. I had a lovely trip. Now my room is in quite a state because I haven't even unpacked my bag yet. Um, and this is what we're working with. So it's not looking great at the moment, but I'm prepared to do some damage. Look at the absolute state of her. I'm gonna start by unpacking my bag and putting all of my dirty clothes from my trip in the wash and I'm getting this done today. I know I've said that many times, but today is the day. I'm not even gonna say it's the next day because you already know it is. Real talk, depression. That's all I need to say. Alani Nutrition sent me this box of energy drinks, like healthy energy drinks. Peanut butter crisp protein bars. I'm having one of those. Mmm, elderberry immunity gummies. These are dangerous. I'm gonna eat this entire thing. Oops. <laughs> Is it gonna be blue? Natural. Yum! It is time to power through this bedroom and then we'll finally get to the rest of the cleaning. Okay, I'm gonna deal with the top shelf. So I'm gonna set myself a 45 minute timer. And if my room's not finished in 45 minutes, I'm going to fly to Italy and work on a farm for the rest of my life. Timer, let's go. Well, my time is done. This is finished, but my room isn't completely clean. So, um, I guess that's the end of my YouTube channel, guys. I'm gonna go. Kidding, I'm going to keep going until it's done. I'm basically finished. I put all these boxes up here. This one has... <coughs> That was like a car starting up. <laughs> this one has all of my gloves and accessories and hats and stuff. And then this one has all of my little like bags and travel bags and tote bags and all of that. I'm almost done guys, we're getting there. Hi guys, it has been a few days. I've gone through a couple of hard things in my life lately. Um, everything doesn't always go planned in life. That's what I've learned recently. I kind of finished my room, but before I do the finishing touches on it, I want to tackle the filming room. So I'll show you a little before of what this room is currently looking like. And yeah, we're just gonna break this down into steps. I feel like that's the easiest thing to do. It makes it a lot less overwhelming. So I'm gonna start with my makeup. Oh God, that is disgusting. That's literally mold. This is the remnants of an iced latte that has been sitting in here for weeks and it has turned to mold. That should be illegal. I'm disgusting. Okay, let's start by clearing all of the makeup off of this desk.
vacuumed and accidentally went over the cord of my camera and my camera was plugged in charging and it fell to the floor and now my camera is broken. So we're gonna be filming on my phone from now on until I can go and get my camera fixed. Hopefully tomorrow or I will be buying a new camera. It seems like someone is against me cleaning this room or I'm just really clumsy. Anyway, I'm gonna finish vacuuming off the floor now and wiping down surfaces and then this room will be done. My room and my filming room are completely clean now. It feels so good, guys. This video has taken me like four weeks to properly clean everything. And that might seem crazy to some people. I know there's also gonna be a lot of people who understand that. I mean, I've been going through some stuff recently, but I'm so proud of myself for getting it done. And if you have cleaned your room whilst watching this video, give yourself a big pat on the back. A big pat on the back, cause you deserve it. Okay, I better show you guys the after of my room and filming room now. I just gave everything a vacuum, a little bit of a wipe down and it's done. I'm so excited. <laughs> so this is the after. This is what my room looks like now. My mum crochets and I decided I wanted to like display all of the crochet items that she's made for me because I thought they were like the cutest things that I own so it would look really nice and it looks so cute. I've got like this little crochet shrine now. This is all beautifully clean now. Look how cute this plant is. My gym shark is all organized, kind of color coordinated, kind of not really but I think it looks so much better than it did before. This is all of my extra storage boxes that I got from Ikea. I have all of my t-shirts, like casual t-shirts, nicely folded in here. All of my PJs as well. Oh my God, look how much better my closet looks now. All of my perfumes on this little mirror tray, which I think looks so cute. I found out pretty soon that the storage boxes were not working in this closet. It meant I could fit more if I just folded them and put them in like this. So I kept it like that. And then these are just all of my stuffed toys that I will never be getting rid of. <laughs> Everything's so clean, I'm so satisfied. Now let's have a look at the filming room. I feel so good, it's all so clean, yay! Now there is one more thing, my car. It's gotten to the point where my boyfriend like won't go in my car because he's like, this is just disgusting. So let's go and clean my car. Yeah. So this is my car, and yes, it's my dirty little secret, but I do have a reason for why it's gotten this dirty. I decided a few months ago that I was going to film a car cleaning video. I told myself that it would be more satisfying the more dirty my car was. Decided that every time I ate something, I was going to leave it in the car. In a way, I was trying to make it the most disgusting it could possibly be. Kind of regret that because it's rank in here. But now we're going to clean it all today. and. It's going to look gorgeous. I'm excited. So this is all of the rubbish that I managed to get out of my car. A big bag of rubbish. Okay, so I got this wet and dry vacuum and it plugs into your car. So I'm going to vacuum the car now. It's not working. Does my car have to be on? Sweet. 
just shat myself. Look at that freaking spider right there. It's massive. That literally made me shit myself. Okay, I think the vacuum's pretty much done, thank God, because I couldn't take much more of that. I'm literally sweating, it's so hot. I feel like putting a bikini on and having a sexy car wash, honestly. But now it's time to wash all of the disgusting spilt drink and dust and God knows what off of my dashboard. So let's do that. Okay, here's where we're at. The interior of the car is a lot cleaner, like, I'm not as embarrassed by it anymore. We need to go and wash the outside of the car now. So I'm gonna go through the car wash. I love going through the car wash, so let's go, yeah. We're doing it, guys. That's gonna be us in there. Oh, I think I'm gonna have to get the gold wash. I definitely need the gold wash. Damn, the people in front of me must have gotten a gold wash because they're taking their damn time. Oh my God, they're done. We're going in. better i can actually see out of my windscreen oh my god we're done that was quick i'm thinking a burrito today is a good day oh my god and a pepsi max standard Murray's kindly filming me right now and obviously it's like basically nighttime. I got a Bissell car seat cleaner. So it's like a stain remover. I don't know if you guys have seen these, but it like sucks all of the crap in your seats out. I'm very excited for this. I think this is going to be really satisfying. Yeah, yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh no. Uh, it's still coming out, Susie. What the hell? Oh my God. Oh. I got wet seats. Damn it. What? Okay, cut the camera. Good job, Murray. Oof. Yeah. We can't be bothered doing my driver's seat and I also have to drive to the gym in the morning so I don't want to have a wet bum. So I'm going to do that tomorrow. Good morning, guys. I just got back from the gym looking... What was that? It's time to finish off the car. There you have it guys that is the end of this deep cleaning video i feel cleansed i feel zen i feel amazing here is all of the bags of stuff that i'm getting rid of keep in mind my friends have already gone through this so they were full to the brim so we got these two bags and this big box of clothes so that is everything that i've gotten rid of i love that it's still in my house i still haven't taken it to the charity shop but i'm waiting to let all of my friends go through it before i get rid of it if you're watching this video and you are putting off cleaning your space i know it's hard but try breaking it down into little steps that can make it less overwhelming. I know when I'm having a mentally bad time, my room is the first thing to show it. I honestly am feeling so much better now that my room is clean and my car, oh my God, being able to drive around in a car that I'm not embarrassed for people to look into. <laughs> It's so nice. I literally can drive people around now. Also, once you get started, it's gonna become so much easier. I think the hardest thing is starting. Thank you guys for coming along with me on this cleaning journey and make sure to subscribe if you haven't already and join our family of all shapes and sizes. You are welcome here. Okay guys, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Mwah! Bye guys. Happy cleaning. I believe in you.